Hello, Mr. Rakesh Roshan. Thank you so much for being on our show. No, no, my pleasure. <laughs> okay, you know, you are considered as a director who changed the face of Indian cinema. How proud does that make you feel? It gives you a great feeling that uh, mm -hmm. I have been trying to change the face of cinema always. Yeah. Right from uh, Koi Mil Gaya to Krish Absolutely. and now Krish yeah. 3. And the response is uh, more than what I expected. Yeah. Because globally, uh, Apple and Google and uh, YouTube and Facebook all have joined hands with uh, yeah, uh, with, uh, with Filmcraft to promote Krish all over the mm -hmm. world. So that's a very, very big step for the Indian cinema. But even conceptually, you know, you've done things like introducing an alien to the Indian audience or creating a superhero, which is something we never had. So, you never thought that this will go or not? You know, that kind of, it's a very big risk to take. Yeah, it's, see, if you don't risky uh, then hmm. you will success bhi utna hi, utna, utna nahi hmm. if, you, if you take a new path, you always get hmm. a bigger chance of uh, being uh, successful. Did you always think of Hrithik as your lead or did you think you would create another superhero? No, what happened was that uh, after I made Koi Mil Gaya, yeah. I happened to see Lord of the Rings, hmm. the, the three paths. Hmm. And one night I saw, I started at about 11.30 and I finished at about 4 o'clock in the morning. That kept me thinking that why can't I make a film which a story can continue. Right. See, sequels are made yeah. in India. But they are just keeping the names. It's a different story, it's a different... Uh, story change ho jati hai. Sub story, story change, ho jati hai, actors change. Ho jati hai. Yeah. So I said that I take one actor, mm. why, why not make uh, another sequel to it? See, if I make a superhero film just, just like that, without any foundation, it won't be accepted. Right, right. So, because I had a big foundation, very, very firm foundation, so that gave yeah. me an incentive to let me um, make a sequel to it and make a, right. make a superhero film. What makes Hrithik India's only superhero? His uh, plus points are, he is physically fit. His physicality you mean? Yes, yeah. physically he's fit. Yeah. Secondly, he has got uh, uh, innocence on his face. Mm -hmm. And that innocence makes people believe whatever he's saying. Yeah. So, Krish, a uh, superhero has to be believed. Correct. Whatever he's saying, whatever he's doing. Mm -hmm. Vivek has been saying that this is Rithik's best ever. Do you think so too? I think so because Rithik has played three roles in this film. Yeah. He's playing a father, he's playing Krishna and he's playing Krish. Right. And I think he's excelled in this film. We, we know we heard stories about how Vivek went out of the way to impress you for the role he came in the costume and looked to your house. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Tell us about no. that. You no, know, what happened with Vivek was that I always had Vivek to play this role in my mind. So you wrote the role for Vivek? I wrote the role. With him in mind, the, yeah. In mind. But I was a little skeptical that he will do or not do the role. Hmm. So I tackled it in a very different way. I called him to the office hmm. and I told him that I've got a script I wanted to read. So he read the script and he came to my room hmm. in two hours time. He said, you want me to play Carl? I said, yes. He said, I'm done. So I was uh, very, well, my half my burden was over. Okay. Because I thought no other actor could play that role. In fact, Hrithik was telling us about how he loved Vivek's role so much. That he he wanted, wanted to grab the yeah. role. <laughs> he wanted to do play. So I said, you can't play for all the time. How many roles will you play? I'll <laughs> so do you think the day has come when we can actually match up to Hollywood standards as far as subject like uh, yes, this Yes, why not? Yeah? Yes. People also... Maybe, maybe, maybe in not in that scale because they make films for 400 million dollars exactly. and all that. We have a small budget of 100 crores. But what we have done in 100 crores also, we have, we have not even one step or half a step behind them. Lately, uh, last year, Kafi spy, spy thrillers released with him. And what happens is that uh, effects and all are very good. It looks very, very slick and very stylish. But the content again lacks. So the balance is not hmm. What do you say about that? Yeah, see, I, I, I have, I have, I have uh, given more weight to the content of the film. Because the Indian audience wants yeah, that, yeah. Or, so you know, the emotional connection. If you see, these all the special effects are decorations in the film. <laughs> really? Mine is a very story-oriented film hmm. uh, which has got a very gripping story hmm. uh, so when you will watch you will sit on the edge of a seat and hmm. you will watch the whole film but you know we also heard about how there was a point where you didn't you weren't convinced about making Krish 3 and you were almost giving up and then Rithik intervened and you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, convinced yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what happened was we, we, we made two scripts you know one full okay. script was ready uh, we worked on it for eight nine months and then one day at night I just went through it and I said no this is not going to work because mm -hmm. It's not a good script. So we made some other film, Kites and all that. Yeah. 
that again we started sitting on some other subjects, not Krish. Mm. But some back of the mind, somewhere Krish was working in my mind, you know. Mm. And one day I got an idea and I narrated it to Rithik and my story writers. Mm. Okay, this is what I've got now, I think this can be made. Mm -hmm. Then we sat on it and in six months the script was ready. But before shooting, uh, just one month before I started, uh, my hands started becoming cold, you know. <laughs> Will I be able to achieve this? Okay. It's, it's a mammoth pro pro production. Yeah, yeah. Will I be able to do it? So I went to Ritika and said, Karitik, I think we should, we should we drop this. this one. <laughs> because uh, I don't think so I'll be able to make this and I don't want to make a fool out of myself. Mm -hmm. He told me, Papa, only you can do it, otherwise nobody else can do this. So I said, let me see. Mm -hmm. So the first day when I went on the sets, my hands were cold. Really? So people were shaking hands with me, asking, why your hands are cold? <laughs> so I used to tell them, no, what thanda is he? <laughs> but then about days passed, a shot with uh, Vivek. So Vivek's character was new. He performed very well, gave, mm. gave two shots very beautifully. Then Kangana came, her outfit and this thing and mm. all that. And then I felt, no. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. They are supporting me. Mm -hmm. And then the confidence level came and then mm -hmm. he finished the film in six months' time. You know, you play so many roles in his life. Like he says, my father is my teacher. He's a senior actor. He's a director. He's a friend. So it doesn't it like, you know, there's so many multiple levels at which... Yeah, there are multiple levels, but then... Uh, mix not like, you know, you take... Mix it's good. Uh -huh. Sometimes, you know, I, because he being my son, I can tell him anything. Right, right. Some other actor I can't tell. Mm -hmm. I can tell him, uh, do we, uh, you are not uh, looking nice on this dress, go and change. Mm -hmm. No, Baba, this is, no, this is okay, I think this is... No, I said, no, go and change. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that uh, 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 closeness is there. I can tell him anything and he can tell me anything. Right. He comes and tells me, Baba, this shot, uh, what I've done is not correct, I won't take it. one more. Okay. So, okay, one more. Two more, three more, four more, five more, six more, seven more, ten more. Yeah. But I realize one thing: that when he says one more, he's going to better the shot. Can you ever imagine any other actor playing a superhero? Who comes best next to Ritik after fifty um, I, 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 I don't think so. No. We don't have any actor in India to yeah. play a superhero. Film craft is doing really so well. You've like stood your ground and you held forth for so many years. Well, most people are tying up with foreign production houses. You haven't really thought of going that way yet. No, I don't. I will never do that. Really? No. I mean, that takes a lot of guts to even like stand That's there and say that. Because uh, I am a filmmaker. Hmm. I am not a money maker. I make films with passion. Hmm. And there are two ways to look at it. And they're also right what they're doing. They're making money also. They're making yeah. seven films in a year, yeah. eight films in a the year. Churning movies, yeah. The churning movies, but no uh, film stands out. I know. My, I, I want to make films which stands out. You know, uh, there's been this trend lately of making these small budget films, offbeat films. You know, you as a, you know, with, with your production house, do you ever think of making movies like that? I, I've never thought of, but... Because your idea always mega, you know, larger than yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, but then I can take some director who has got a good subject. Yeah. And, because I can't make a small film. Why? I don't know, my, my thinking, my approach, my uh, uh, vision is uh, big, so I don't know. Yeah, it's like so yeah, large. Yeah, yeah, very large vision, so... Hmm. I, I don't know. What about directing some other actor other than Hrithik? Yeah, if, like, I, if, I get a, if I get a good subject where there, there are two heroes or three hmm. heroes, I will def definitely approach yeah. somebody else and do, uh, make. But I'll always make a film with Hrithik. You'll always make a film with Hrithik? Yeah. yeah. And why is that? Because why? Because he's a good actor and he's a big star <laughs> and he's my son. So all the three plus points are there. Why should I go outside? <laughs> but you've really seen Rithik grow. I mean, you're his father, you're his teacher, like you know, you, Rithik was saying. But you know, do you think, I mean, ha have you seen stardom change Rithik in any way? No, in his no, head, no. Has anything changed nothing, ever? Nothing, nothing has changed. He's yeah. still the same boy. Yeah. And that's why he's successful. That's why people love him. That's why he's grounded. He's grounded. Absolutely yeah. grounded. Yeah. Is he, is he scared he's a, of he's you? He's like his father. <laughs> <laughs> but is he scared of you? No, he's not scared yeah, of you. I, I hear more like friends or it's like... Yeah, like friends and yeah. we talk and we discuss and... I don't enter his territory at all. <laughs> if he comes for an advice, ke, Papa, should I do this film or mm -hmm. that? Then I give him an advice. Otherwise, I don't enter his territory. So which, according to you, has been Rithik's best performance ever? Rithik has given good performances in a span of 10 years. Yeah. Uh, amazing performances. He has given you Koi uh, Milgya, then he has worked as Akbar, he has given dignity, dignity that to, to, the, to yes. that character. He worked uh, in Dhoom, 
he worked as Guzarish? a super Guzarish. So good, yeah. He worked as Krish. Yeah. So he, in the ten years, he has done different kind of roles. <laughs> so you can't and I, and I, I, and I And I loved him in Zindagi Na Mili Ki Dubara oh. also. He was so natural. Because he was so natural. Yeah, yeah. It's very difficult to play a just, just a natural. Just your own self on screen. Yeah. It is great talking to you, Mr. Roshan. Thank you so much for being on our show. It was Thank a pleasure. You. Thank you.